So I guess that means I'm recording. Um, sometimes it doesn't matter. I go to this camera and it's like I'm getting there the first time. Anyway, um, this. So is this thing going to focus or? There we go. Anyway, I hope you can see what's going on here. Uh, some laddered Damascus. And, um, and it's kind of a random. It's a laddered random. That camera hasn't got a clue where to go. <laughs> I, uh, there, there you can kind of see what's going on. But this, I um, wonder what happens if I turn this light off. And I'm sorry, I'm just mumbling here. I got a light overhead. And maybe this will make it a little less confusing. But this is really... Um, if I bring this in, yeah, you can kind of see what's going on here, right? It's, uh, may not look like it, but this is 288 layers, 1080, 1095, 15N20, hot blue, hot blue desk guard, a, uh, little stainless spacer in there, and some 7,400-year-old bog oak with um, an ivory ivory finial cover maybe we can see we're kind of kind of dialed in here it, it's only going to focus on the butt cap i see that you can't tell if i've tried to do this before and you can't really tell if the knife is straight or not but anyway you get the idea we're well, let's see if i can get there you can kind of get the idea right there through the center of the guard and the handle anyway Clip little little radical of a pattern for me. Sorry about taking so long. Um, slight recurve, short short clipped fighter, and I just been kind of working on this. This is absolutely. By the way, this is this is. Um, I want to point out this is absolutely bone dry. This is just bone dry. There's nothing wet or anything on the blade. Um, so, it's for delivery this weekend. I'm headed off. I don't even know. If if you just found your way, come on. Come on. There we go. I see. If you just found it, and I'm, I'm not saying anything important here. Um, if you just found your way to my YouTube channel here, um, go check out a couple of the other videos. Oh, what the hell? I'll go ahead. I'll do it. I was going to say I'm not going to take this down, but you know what? I'm going to. I'm going to bring this up. I'm going to take this out. This is a 256 um, black anodized screw. And it's poking right through a piece of mammoth ivory. Mammoth ivory. And I'm going to use this screw here and pull out that little plug. Right here is all it is. And deep inside here is a stainless finial that's holding everything together. with a 1032 thread. Um, of course that's out, right? And now we're gonna push against, I grab that handle, I use these two fingers, push against that guard, push the handle off, take this handle off, one of the, um, one of the screws came with it. And it should, it's a free floating screw. And then the other one is, I'm going to pull, pull this off. Here's a stainless, stainless uh, spacer with the other pin. Hot blue and frosted, I call it frosted um, guard. Here's our, here's our knife, our Damascus blade Damascus blade it's all shiny and pretty pretty full it's pretty full and I 
just about to sharpen it. I don't like, I spend, when I do these videos, I'm looking in the monitor all the time to see what's going on. If this thing was sharp, I'd be cutting myself and, and that would happen. That could easily happen. So anyway, here she is. Put her back together. Um, guard's an easy one to figure out. And then what I do is, I, um, whenever there are components, I've always indexed them. You'll see this guy, a little dot right here by my thumb. That goes to the top. So if I put that in, it's at the top. Right there. Go ahead and put the uh, 16th inch stainless pins in. And the guard, the handle, also pinned accordingly. Like so. It'll slide right on there. Or it ought to, right? Come on. There we go. Even no no finial in it, it's holds together. So put the finial in. There's the you know, once again, I like to say I'm not tightening the uh, lug nuts on an F two fifty dually. It's just a ten thirty two screw. It's sitting on a steel ring inside the handle there. But I will crank down until it just bottoms out on that ring and just snug it up there's no reason to go any past snug right i really enjoy looking at this damascus i hope you don't mind taking this to the ohio spirit of steel joel and misty whirly Excellent knife show over there. If you haven't been there, you guys need to attend. It's the real deal, and it's getting better and better every year. The tenants is booming. A lot of good suppliers and and such. So this is getting delivered to a fine figure of a man over there tomorrow. All right. Okay, talk to y'all another time.